Welcome to World Code Updates, subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. The year is 2025, a new day dawns over Manila, but the world wakes up to uncertainty. News tickers flash urgent headlines across the globe, each more alarming than the last. The world's attention is fixed on crisis after crisis. In Europe, gas pipelines have become political weapons, their flow controlled by shifting alliances and bitter disputes. In the Middle East, old rivalries threaten to choke off vital shipping lanes, putting the world's energy supply at risk. Global markets are in turmoil, oil prices swing wildly, sending shockwaves through economies and households alike. Nations scramble for resources, making desperate deals and drawing hard lines. Every negotiation feels like a high-stakes gamble. The world teeters on the edge. Not of war, but of an energy crisis that touches every home, every business, every life. This conflict is fought with power supplies, not armies. The battlefield is the grid. The weapon is control over energy. Supply chains break down, factories slow, and families everywhere feel the squeeze. The cost of everyday life grows heavier. Heating bills soar, gas prices spike, and the cost of living climbs relentlessly. For many it's a daily struggle to keep up. Governments face impossible choices, subsidize energy and risk collapse, or let citizens bear the burden and face unrest in the streets. Amidst this chaos, a different story is quietly unfolding, far from the headlines and the panic. In Southeast Asia, the Philippines is quietly rewriting its destiny, charting a new course for its people. Once known for energy struggles and rolling blackouts, it's emerging as a beacon of stability and innovation. While others fight over dwindling resources, the Philippines taps its own potential, harnessing wind, sun, and sea. This transformation didn't happen overnight, it's the result of years of hard work, vision, and sacrifice. It's the result of decades of planning and bold leadership, of leaders who dared to dream of energy independence. The nation has turned its greatest weakness into its strength, bringing light and hope to millions. Away from headlines of crisis, a story of resilience and transformation is taking shape, one community at a time. The Philippines is building a future powered by its own resources, investing in technology and its people. This journey is about more than pipelines and power plants, it's about opportunity, education, and hope for the next generation. It's about national pride and a better future for its people, a future where every Filipino can dream bigger. As the world holds its breath, the Philippines takes a deep, confident one, ready for what comes next. It's ready to step onto the world stage as Asia's new energy superpower. The world watches, uncertain but intrigued. But in the Philippines, hope is rising. A new sense of possibility fills the air. A new chapter is beginning, one written by the hands of its own people. The energy revolution is here, and the Philippines stands ready to lead. For decades, the Philippines depended almost entirely on imported fuel with tankers arriving daily to keep the country running. This reliance shaped the nation's destiny, making it vulnerable to forces far beyond its shores. Every spike in global oil prices sent shockwaves through the economy, causing uncertainty and hardship for millions. The cost of living would rise overnight and businesses struggled to keep up. Ordinary Filipinos felt it daily, at home, at work, in school. The threat of sudden blackouts loomed constantly, disrupting routines and dreams alike. Rolling blackouts were common, a constant reminder of energy insecurity. Entire neighborhoods would plunge into darkness, leaving families to wait and hope for the lights to return. Businesses closed early, factories halted, and hospitals relied on backup generators just to keep patients safe. Productivity suffered, and the nation's progress slowed to a crawl, economic growth was choked, foreign investment discouraged and opportunities lost. Investors hesitated fearing instability and unreliable infrastructure. Families stretched budgets to cover rising electricity bills, often sacrificing other needs. The stress of making ends meet became a daily struggle for many. The price of goods and transport soared with every oil shock, making even basic necessities harder to afford. Commuters and small businesses bore the brunt of these increases. The government spent huge sums importing fuel, money that could have gone to schools, healthcare, or building a better future for the next generation. Energy dependence was a barrier to national development, stalling vital projects and leaving communities underserved. It kept millions' dreams out of reach, as children struggled to study and families hoped for a brighter tomorrow. But this struggle forged a strong national will. Communities came together united by hardship and a shared desire for change. People grew tired of living in the dark yearning for a future where energy was reliable and life could move forward. 
leaders realized energy independence was a matter of survival, not just progress. The urgency to act became impossible to ignore. This shared hardship created urgency for change, inspiring action from all corners of society, ordinary citizens, activists and officials alike. The memory of those years became fuel for a revolution, a reminder of what needed to be overcome. A revolution powered not by anger but by determination and hope for a better future. The nation was ready to break free from the cycle, eager to embrace new solutions and light up every home. The stage was set for transformation, as new projects promised to change the country's destiny. The Philippines was about to light its own way, finally stepping out of the shadows and into a brighter era. The turning point came in 2001, a year that would forever change the energy story of the Philippines. This was the year the Malampaya Deepwater Gas to Power project was launched, marking a new era for the nation. Off the coast of Palawan, a massive offshore platform began tapping into the country's own natural gas reserves, deep beneath the ocean floor. For the first time in history, the Philippines had its own major homegrown energy source, bringing pride and hope to millions. Malampaya powered three major Luzon plants generating over 3,200 megawatts of electricity. Brownouts that once plagued the country faded away. Lights stayed on, homes were brighter, and businesses thrived like never before. The project dramatically reduced the nation's reliance on imported oil and coal, shielding the economy from unpredictable global price shocks and supply disruptions. Malampaya was more than just a power source. It became a powerful symbol of hope and self-reliance for the Filipino people. It proved that the Philippines could handle complex, large-scale energy projects, inspiring confidence in local talent and expertise. International investment and expertise poured in, eager to be part of the country's energy revolution and growth. A new generation of skilled Filipino engineers and technicians emerged, trained to manage and innovate in the energy sector. Malampaya became a blueprint for future energy projects, setting new standards for what was possible in the Philippines. It ignited ambition and possibility nationwide, inspiring students and communities to dream bigger. The project's revenues funded vital infrastructure and social programs, building roads, schools, and better lives for many. Natural resources were now seen as keys to prosperity, unlocking new opportunities for the nation's future. Malampaya sparked a wave of innovation, encouraging inventors and entrepreneurs to push boundaries in technology and energy. The energy landscape was changing, fast. Cities grew, industries expanded, and the country moved forward with renewed energy. The nation was no longer in the dark, the future was bright, and the Malampaya project had lit the way for generations to come. Malampaya's success set off a chain reaction. Local energy companies explored new frontiers, onshore gas, geothermal, hydropower. Wind farms rose in Ilocos Norte, solar farms in Negros. These projects brought jobs and economic activity to rural areas. Manufacturing expanded, tech and BPO sectors flourished. Thousands of new jobs offered better wages and opportunities. Energy security fueled economic prosperity. A stable power grid became the backbone of a modern economy. National pride soared as Filipinos led the charge. The narrative shifted from dependence to innovation. Each new project was a testament to growing strength. This was about more than keeping the lights on. It was about building a confident, self-reliant nation. The energy revolution was now a grassroots movement. Becoming an energy powerhouse required more than resources. The Philippines built a modern, resilient national grid. New transmission lines connected remote islands. Substations were upgraded, pipelines and refineries constructed. Underwater pipelines moved gas from offshore fields to power plants. New refineries processed domestic and imported crude efficiently. The country pivoted to liquefied natural gas, building state-of-the-art import terminals. These terminals diversified energy sources and positioned the Philippines as a regional hub. Infrastructure projects created jobs and spurred local industries. The energy backbone powered factories, homes and communities. It was the circulatory system of the modern economy. This network embodied the nation's ambition. From energy poverty to energy power, this was nation building in action. Infrastructure was only half the story. Smart policy and good governance were essential. The Electric Power Industry Reform Act restructured the sector, encouraging competition and efficiency. Transparency and anti-corruption measures attracted foreign investment. International companies brought capital, technology and expertise. Joint ventures with local firms tackled complex projects. Public-private partnerships became the engine of transformation. Each success built trust and drew more investment. 
the government evolved into a smart regulator and reliable partner. The Philippines proved that with the right policies a nation could overcome its past. The energy revolution was built on both steel and trust. The Philippines' energy rise unfolds in a tense geopolitical landscape. The West Philippine Sea holds vast, untapped resources and overlapping claims. Securing these resources is about national security and survival. The nation pursues principled diplomacy, anchored by international law and alliances. The 2016 arbitral ruling and strong partnerships with the US, Japan and others provide security. These alliances deter threats and enable confident resource development. The stakes are high. These resources could power the nation for generations. The Philippines is playing a careful strategic game to secure its energy future. The true measure of the energy revolution is its impact on Filipinos' lives. Energy revenues fund schools, hospitals, roads and bridges. Reliable electricity fuels small businesses and local economies. Farmers earn extra income leasing land for renewables. Households enjoy affordable, dependable power. Children study at night, families save money, and communities thrive. Local governments invest energy revenues in priority projects. The benefits are visible in every neighborhood. National progress and local well-being are now linked. The energy revolution lifts all Filipinos. The future is brighter for everyone. The Philippines stands at the dawn of a new era. The challenge now balance growth with sustainability. The nation invests in renewables, geothermal, hydro, solar, wind, stricter environmental regulations and efficiency programs are in place. The goal a secure, clean, balanced energy mix. The energy sector fuels jobs, innovation and prosperity. The dream of self-sufficiency is within reach. The world now sees the Philippines as a nation of potential and strength. The journey continues but the direction is clear. The Philippines is confidently stepping into its role as Asia's new energy superpower.